Let's pass the page. Um, this one. You want to start from here? Melanosaurus. Melanosaurus swallowed stones to help grind up the leaves in his stomach. Oh, that's clever, like some modern birds. These stones are called gastrolus. Gastrolus. Lots of plant-eating dinosaurs swallowed stones. Some may have accidentally shoveled them in with plants they ate from the ground. They might not be doing it on purpose, but they did it. Okay, Dino Safari. How many dinosaurs can we find in this page? One, mm -hmm. two, mm -hmm. three, mm -hmm. four. Mm -hmm. Did we find this one yet? Six. Mm -hmm. Seven. Seven. <laughs> What's our answer previously? Six. Six. I think we have six, but I think you counted pretty well. But, oh, by the way, what's this called? Animals blend into their environment to hide from come, predators. Come on, Fudge. Very good. If we see a predator, we will do that also. Yeah, predators can do that also. Predators hide from their prey so that they, they can surprise them. Right, oh, steady skin. This is for coloring. Do you want to color this? No. Okay. Mm, we can do the very good, Leo. Do you want to trace this shark, this megalodon? Nope. But it looks like this. Yeah, you can trace it. I could trace it with my hand. You can trace it with this crayon that you did there, which is really good. Nope. Okay. You do uh, want to do it now? I'm going to do How about that. you trace this? How about you trace this one? I'm very good at jellyfishes, not sharks, and not seasons. Mm. Very good. That's pretty good. Here. I think we can do uh, the next page. We Celo like the weather. Celophysis. What do they eat? They pick out okay. this. Okay. Like second. this. Yes, their snot is very long and it's easy to get in gaps to catch their dinner, right? What do ca what do Celophysis eat? I don't know. Don't they eat fish? They eat fish. They hunt in? Pack. Yeah. Very good, Leo. Do you want to trace this shark, this megalodon? Nope. But it looks like this. Yeah, you can trace it. I could trace it with my hand. You can trace it with this crayon like you did there which is really good no okay you do uh, want to do it now I'm going to do how about that. you trace this how about you trace this one i'm very good at jellyfishes not sharks and not seasons mm. very good that's pretty good here i think we can do uh, the next page. We Celo like the weather. Celophysis. What do they eat? They pick Celo out pepper. this. Okay. Like second. this. Yes, their snot is very long. And it's easy to get in gaps to catch their dinner, right? What do ca what do Celophysis eat? I don't know. Don't they eat fish? They eat fish. They hunt in packs. Yeah, packs. Should we do this page again? Uh, what are those flying creatures? Are they dinosaurs? They're flying reptiles. You are right. They are flying reptiles, not dinosaurs. Dinosaurs couldn't fly. Even though they were ancestors of birds, right? They couldn't fly. Some of them, uh, I think they glide. Okay, how many fish can you see in here for the eudemorphodon to eat? One, two, three... Five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Ten fish. Look, look. Nice look. Look, ten. Yeah, that's our answer before. How many, how many are you? That's an easy one. Okay, the scoring. Oh, disaster! Liam is in there! Liam is in there. Let's put him in your mouth. 
Oh, quick, get back in your time machine. Things aren't looking good. 201 million years ago, the word of the dinosaurs. I'm a mechanical dinosaur. I can save many people. You can save many people. You're going to save people and dinosaurs too? Are you going to save dinosaurs too? Yeah. Oh, yes. Good job. Mm -hmm. We're going to save them from the disasters. The disaster struck the ocean. Why do you like too, to say many this? Plants. Okay, let me put this one in my mouth. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, planet creatures. Um, I'm also a mechanical dinosaur now. Yeah, you're also a mechanical dinosaur. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So that was the end of tri uh, Triassic, Triassic and um, the volcano eruption created loads of dust, blocked the sunlight, lots of plants died, lots of plant eaters died, and then lots of meat eaters died. Who survived? Shall we do the, the, the maze to find out who survived? Do you want to trace the maze? I will trace it. Do this one, okay. Ich Ichthyosaurus. Did Ichthyosaurus made it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he made it! Well done, Ixiosaurus. How about the not so sorrow? Not so sorrow. He was extinct. When extinct. But this one is the life of Plectodon. Hmm? Plectodon. What's this one? Is that orange? Orange. That's orange. Oh, and it went extinct. Nososaurus when extinct they survive loads of species when extinct and then the beginning of Jurassic they really enjoyed it so this is the period when loads of gigantic dinosaurs oh are you okay I'm okay yeah um, appeared so here we have Brachiosaurus a very tall what do they eat this this dinosaur yes. is not much, much longer. Much longer was his name. Draft Titan. Yeah, she's he's Draft Titan. How about this one? Brachiosaurus. What do they eat? Plants. Plants. Do they eat, uh, do they eat ferns on the ground? Nope. Nope. What do they eat? Leaves. Leaves on the treetops. Why do they, why do they like leaves from the treetops? I don't know. What's the difference between leaves on the treetops and leaves on the knees? What's so good about leaves on the treetops? Oh, is that head of Brachiosaurus? Very good. Yep. Want to draw the neck? No. Nope. Like draw the long neck down here like this? No. I think it's going to be really good. Nope. Okay. Let's do okay. the other body uh, next time. Okay, let's do other body parts next time. Okay, it's the treetops. Let's talk about leaves on the treetops. Why is it so good? Is it? A yummy, yummy. It's yummy, yummy. Why is it so yummy, yummy? Guys, I know, but they are fresh. Fresh, you're fresh. Wait a second. Let's think about it. What, what, what does the treetops get, but not, not the tree, the leaves underneath? I don't know. What do tree leaves need to make their nutrition? Hmm? What do tree leaves? I need? would do dry this. What do leaves need to to be to to make the nutrition? <laughs> Is it sunshine there? Sunshine! Yeah, so why do the treetop leaves the best? Why are the treetop leaves the best then? I keep drawing up. Is it because they get a lot of sunshine? Hmm? I draw all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Is that that's a seropod, though? Aren't you going to link seropods to seropods? Which one is a seropod? Yes, Allosaurus is a seropod. What is Actosaurus? I know. It's a sauropod. Sauropod. I got sauropod. I I. I, I What's Do you have Stegosaurus? Yeah, we don't have Stegosaurus too. Oh, Stegosaurus is right there. I saw it, I saw it. Yes. Yes, very good. How about Camptos, uh, Camptos, Camptosaurus? Camptosaurus, sorry. 
It's a seropod. Very good. Seropod and there's seropods. It sounds so similar, right? And there's anchor. You are drawing really well. See that pen holder is really helping, isn't it? It does. Okay, dino tracking. Ooh, I like this part. It's time to follow the dino trial. When giants like Diplodocus stomped over soft ground, their feet made huge footprints. Other dinos made different shapes and size of footprints. Let's have a look. Whose footprint is this? Only so pause. It's only supposed they eat both plants and and this. Oh yeah, that's for seropods. That's the meat. Those are the meat eaters. I want to do this thing. Black pepper. Stomping foot. What is that big stomping footprint down there? Oh, it's very sharp. It's looking, looking quite. Quite um, what is it called? Three toed, quite pointy. Yeah, pointy. That's the word. The pointy footprints must be a seropod. Oh, and it's so big. It could be a T Rex. Is it a T Rex? A seropod. A seropod. Have you been brushing your teeth, by the way? Hmm? Are we doing it? Okay, seropods. They have much like a like a ground circular and much bigger footprints right see how big this is that's a sauropod and that's a seropod and that's an onisopod what's this one onisopod is like a iguanodon that could be a baby iguanodon right do you want to count how many of the so, seropod footprints we have here, all in different colors. Can you count them? 25. 25, you didn't count. <laughs> you estimated. Yeah, that helps. You just estimated. <laughs> Should we count them? You can count them. Yeah, let's first count all the green ones and then we can plus them together. Okay? One, two, three, four. Five, six. We have six green ones. Let's write it down here. See, when one task seems too big and too complicated, we can break it down to many little tasks. Little tasks. Okay, now we count the purple ones. One, two, three, four. Four purple ones. Let's write down four purple ones. We need to do six plus four. That's ten now, but we do it later. Let's count now the blue ones. One, two, three three blue ones plus three and now let's count the orange ones actually orange and red and brown they are also close let's just count all the bright color ones shall we that's one two three four five six seven eight nine let's count the pink one as well there's nine of them so put them all together, 6 plus 4 equals to 10, 10 plus 3 equals to 13, 13 plus 9 equals to 22. In total we have 22. Your estimate is so close, Leo. Your estimate is 25, only 3 different from the real number. That's pretty good. What do, what do we learn from there, Leo? When is, When the task is too complicated and too big, what do we do? What do we do? Hmm? What do we do to a giant big task that's too big? What do we do to it? Take it and break it. And break it down to some more small. Button to top, don't we? <laughs> Very good. TV is for. Sina! Sina! Okay. Very good. Wow, that is so good. Okay. 
Should we do a uh, Cacto E in between? Cacto E is easy. Nope. Okay, let's let my mom help you with the little E then. You want mom to help you with the little E? Nope. Tell me. You want me to help you with the little E? Yeah. Okay, my mom write the little E for Leo. Perfect. Leo, you did so well. L -E -O. L and O. -O. I love that. Okay, let's do, -E let's do the reading one. I have to do the crazy. Okay, okay, how about, okay, you can do the one when ants. Ants needs to, ants needs to do which letter to go to the hot dog? A. A. Okay. How do you pronounce that? How do you pronounce uh, that? Uh, uh. Mm -hmm. Is it a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a I yeah okay. What does it sound like? Yeah, that's right. E e e e inch one. Let's find the old eyes. Very good. Okay. Now, which which one which one you want to do next? I did the eyes the Tristan one. I'll trace one all the way yeah, to the... Yeah, let's find them. Oh, let's have a look at this one. No. What does this sound like? Okay, you don't want to do that. No, this one. You know this one? Okay. Get out of the maze. Okay, what letter do you need to do? Okay, C. What does it sound like in a word? For example, car. C -c 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 -car. C oh, out of the maze. The car is out of the maze. So, c -c 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 car. Let's just do this again. Mm. Good job. Sounds like. This one? This one? Where is it? Try this one. This one? S sounds like.